Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be teaching you how to green screen in HitFilm 4 Express. So the first thing you're going to need to green screen is obviously your footage. So you're also going to need not only a green screen but your background clip too. So I've just got this video of a forest which is going to be my background clip. So once you've got your two clips imported, first thing you want to do is to uh, click on your background clip and make a composite shot out of that. So right click and press make composite shot and you can call it whatever you want for example. And uh, just leave all of these the same uh, and click OK. Now it'll open in a new tab here uh, which means that uh, we've got a, another sort of place to be working in. The reason we want to use composite shots is that you can do visual effects much more easily in composite shots due to the layering style of the composite shot. So now you're going to drag in your video. This actual video was three minutes long, it was this massive compilation of stuff. You should probably have used this one. But anyway, um, I'm just going to press this button to insert the part that I've selected into the timeline. And you can see it's actually a bit smaller than the background. So what I have to do is I have to go into the controls, into the transform, and I have to scale it up until it fills the screen, which is very nice. Now I can also drag the composite shot in and out points to the actual um, length of the green screen, and I can drag this to make this shorter as well. So at the moment, all we've got is the top clip over the bottom clip and no effects have been applied. So instead of going through uh, in the effects tab and combing for different uh, effects under keying, there's a really easy way to green screen and hit fill. And that's if we, if we go down all the way to presets, we go down to 2D effects and we can drag the green screen key or blue screen if you've got blue screen and drag it straight onto your green screen clip. Um, and this way it will apply three effects all in one and they'll be pretty much ready made for you to go. Okay, so as we can see, the first effect was the color difference key, then the map cleaner, and then the spill removal. So we'll go through each of these in turn. In your controls tab, uh, under your effects little window, you can see all the three effects. And if we go into our color difference key, and we just turn off all of these, um, we can see that this is actually the main key up. So we can select the screen color, and these minimum and maximum controls uh, control how much is keyed out. So the minimum is the, the the value at which all green will be keyed out, and the maximum is the maximum at which this can be keyed out. The closer you have these together, the sharper the edge will be, um, and the further away you have them, the more blurry the edge will be, as you can see. And you can adjust these until you come up with a pretty sharp edge right on the edge of your character. Alright, and you can also change the gamma, uh, which sort of changes both of these values at once, uh, if you just want a quick method to do that. You can also view the matte, which means that all the white things will be uh, visible and all the black things won't be. And this is great because you can see if there are any holes, say, um, in your green screen, for example, I might have uh, cut this out a bit and there may be some holes in there somewhere like over here. Um, so that mat is also very useful. So now we're going to go into the mat cleaner. The mat cleaner is pretty much optional but you can do a few things with it. Smooth smooths out the actual uh, shape of the green screen mask so uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this too much maybe just one pixel uh, if you really need to but yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that too much. Feather smooths out the edges and sort of blurs them in a bit. And uh, unless you know you really want to go ham on this, I wouldn't do this all that much. Maybe one or two pixels at the maximum. And choke will simply choke your selection right in, in case you have a, a bit of a wonky key. You can also view the mat in here as well. Now we can go up to our final uh, tab, which is Spill Removal. Spill Removal removes spill. And spill is what happens when, on a green screen, 
light reflects from the screen onto your actor and this way it looks sort of obvious that they're on a green screen. So spill removal removes these green sort of reflections and we can select the, the screen color again and uh, select the strength of the spill removal. You can uh, select standard or extended. Alright, so that's the basics of green screen. Feel free to turn off the video right now, but I'm actually going to show you one or two more things that you can do to just enhance the look of your green screen. So the first is to blur the background. Now, with HitFilm 4 Express rather than 3, than three um, a new effect was came in and that's called Lens Blur. So what Lens Blur does is it blurs an image uh, similar to how a camera, a real camera, would blur out of focus areas of your image. And this is very useful because if we uh, blur the background then it looks much more realistic because in reality the camera cannot focus on anything or everything. You can change the radius and if you know the camera you shot you usually shoot on and you can change uh, the shape of your iris too. If you don't know any about this camera sort of stuff just change the radius. Uh, however, be mindful that the lens blur effect will take some time uh, to render. What we can do is apply a grade. So if we create a new layer, we create a grade, then um, I'm not going to go into grading too much into this video because I have another tutorial on it and the annotation should pop up right now. Um, but what, what you can do is apply a, a grade to this to your clip and that way when everything looks sort of similar, like the, the grade has been applied to all aspects of your clip, then you can, um, it looks more realistic. You can also grade your actual uh, green screen clip to match the colors of your background clip. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, whether you watched all of it or some of it. Um, I hope that I helped you guys out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you want to see another video um, similar to this one. I'll see you guys later. Bye.